STS-87 was a Space Shuttle mission launched from Launch Complex 39B of the Kennedy Space Center on 19 November 1997. It was the 88th flight of the Space Shuttle, and the 24th flight of Columbia. The mission goals were to conduct experiments using the United States Microgravity Payload USMP4, conduct two AVAs, and to deploy the Spartan 201 experiment. This mission marked the first time an EVA was performed from Columbia. An EVA from Columbia was originally planned for STS-5 in 1982, but was cancelled due to spacesuit problems. It also marked the first EVA conducted by a Japanese astronaut, Takao Doi. Topic: Kiru. Topic: Backup crew. Topic: Space walks Scott and Doi, EVA 1 EVA 1 start, 25 November 1997-002 Coordinated Universal Time EVA 1 end, 25 November 1997-745 Coordinated Universal Time Duration, 7 hours, 43 minutes Scott and Doi, EVA 2. EVA 2 start, 3 December 1997-909 Coordinated Universal Time. EVA 2 end, 3 December 1997-1409 Coordinated Universal Time. Duration, 4 hours, 59 minutes. Topic. Mission highlights STS-87 flew the United States Microgravity Payload USMP-4, Spartan-201, Orbital Acceleration Research Experiment OARE, Teva Demonstration Flight Test 5 EDFT-05, the Shuttle Ozone Limb Sending Experiment SOLSE, the Loop Heat Pipe LHP, the Sodium Sulfur Battery Experiment NASB, the Turbulent Gas Jet Diffusion G744 Experiment and the autonomous EVA robotic camera sprint air cam sprint experiment. Mid deck experiments included the Midic Glovebox payload MGBX and the collaborative Ukrainian experiment Q. Topic: <laughs> United States microgravity payload. The United States Microgravity Payload USMP4, is a spacelab project managed by Marshall Space Flight Center, Huntsville, Alabama. The complement of microgravity research experiments is divided between two Mission Peculiar Experiment Support Structures MPESS, in the Payload Bay. The Extended Mission Capability offered by the Extended Duration Orbiter EDO kit provides an opportunity for additional science gathering time. Topic Spartan 201 Spartan 201 is a solar physics spacecraft designed to perform remote sensing of the hot outer layers of the Sun's atmosphere or corona. It is expected to be deployed on orbit 18 and retrieved on orbit 52. The objective of the observations are to investigate the mechanisms causing the heating of the solar corona and the acceleration of the solar wind which originates in the corona. Two primary experiments are the ultraviolet coronal spectrometer from the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory, and the white light coronagraph WLC from the High Altitude Observatory. Spartan 201 has three secondary experiments. The Technology Experiment Augmenting Spartan Texas, is a radio frequency RF, communications experiment which provided flight experience for components baseline on future Spartan missions, and a real-time communications and control link with the primary Spartan 201 experiments. 
This link was used to provide a fine pointing adjustment to the WLC based on solar images downlinked real time. The Video Guidance Sensor VGS flight experiment is a laser guidance system which tested a key component of the automated rendezvous and capture system. The Spartan Auxiliary Mounting Plate SPAM is a small equipment mounting plate which provided a mounting location for small experiments or auxiliary equipment of the Spartan Flight Support Structure SFSS. It is a honeycomb plate using an experimental silicon carbide aluminum face sheet material with an aluminum core. Topic: Advanced Automated Directional Solidification Furnace. The Advanced Automated Directional Solidification Furnace AADSF, is a sophisticated materials science facility used for studying a common method of processing semiconductor crystals called directional solidification. Solidification is the process of freezing materials. In the type of directional solidification to be used in AADSF, the liquid sample, enclosed in quartz ampules, will be slowly solidified along the long axis. A mechanism will move the sample through varying temperature zones in the furnace. To start processing, the furnace melts all but one end of the sample towards the other. Once crystallized, the sample remains in the furnace to be examined post flight. The solidification front is of particular interest to scientists because the flows found in the liquid material influence the final composition and structure of the solid and its properties. Topic. Confined helium experiment The confined helium experiment checks provides a test of theories of the influence of boundaries on matter by measuring the heat capacity of helium as it is confined to two dimensions. Topic: <laughs> Isothermal dendritic growth experiment. The Isothermal Dendritic Growth Experiment IDGE, is a material science solidification experiment that researchers will use to investigate a particular type of solidification called dendritic growth. Dendritic solidification is one of the most common forms of solidifying metals and alloys. When materials crystallize or solidify under certain condition, they freeze unstably, resulting in tiny, tree-like crystalline forms called dendrites. Scientists are particularly interested in dendrite size, shape, and how the branches of the dendrites interact with each other. These characteristics largely determine the properties of the material. Designed for research on the directional solidification of metallic alloys, the material pour l'étude des phénomènes intercent la solidification sur terre et en orbite Mephisto experiment is primarily interested in measuring the temperature, velocity, and shape of the solidification front the point where the solid and liquid contact each other during solidification. Mephisto simultaneously processes three identical cylindrical samples of bismuth and tin alloys. Alloy. In the first sample, the temperature fluctuations of the moving solidification are measured electrically, with disturbing the sample. The position of the solid to liquid border is determined by an electrical resistance technique in the second sample. In the third sample, the faceted solidification front is marked at selected intervals with electric current pulses. The samples are returned to Earth for analysis. During the mission, Mephisto data will be correlated with data from the Space Acceleration Measurement System SAMS. By comparing data, scientists can determine how accelerations aboard the shuttle disturb the solid-to-liquid interface. Topic. Space Acceleration Measurement System 
The Space Acceleration Measurement System SAMS, sponsored by NASA Lewis Research Center, now NASA Glenn Research Center, is a microprocessor-driven data acquisition system designed to measure and record the microgravity acceleration environment of the USMP carrier. The SAMS has three triaxial sensor heads that are separate from the electronics package for remote positioning. In operation, the triaxial sensor head produces output signals in response to acceleration inputs. The signals are amplified, filtered, and converted into digital data. The digital acceleration data is transferred to optical disk memory for ground analysis and downlinked to the ground for near real-time analysis. Each accelerometer has a mass suspended by a quartz element is such a manner to allow movement along one axis only. A coil is attached to the mass and the assembly is placed between two permanent magnets. An applied acceleration displaces the mass form its resting position. This movement is sensed by a detector, causing SAM's electronics to send a voltage to the coil, producing exactly the magnetic field needed to restore the mass to its original position. The applied voltage is proportional to the applied acceleration and is output to the SAM's electronics as acceleration data. Topic. Orbital Acceleration Research Experiment While flying separately in the cargo bay, the Orbital Acceleration Research Experiment OARE, sponsored by NASA Lewis Research Center, now Glenn Research Center, is an integral part of USMP-04. It is a highly sensitive instrument designed to acquire and record data of low-level aerodynamic acceleration along the orbiter's principal axes in the free molecular flow regime at orbital altitudes and in the transition regime during re-entry. OARE data is also downlinked during the mission for near-real-time analysis in support of the USMP science experiments. OARE data will support advances in space materials processing by providing measurements of the low-level, low-frequency disturbance environment affecting various microgravity experiments. OARE data will also support advances in orbital drag prediction technology by increasing the understanding of the fundamental flow phenomena in the upper atmosphere. Topic. Shuttle Ozone Limb Sounding Experiment The objective of the Shuttle Ozone Limb Sounding Experiment SOLSE, is to determine the altitude distribution of ozone in an attempt to understand its behavior so that quantitative changes in the composition of our atmosphere can be predicted. SOLSE is intended to perform ozone distribution that a nadir instrument can achieve. This will be performed using charged couple device CCD technology to eliminate moving parts in a simpler, low-cost, ozone mapping instrument. The experiment is housed in a hitchhiker HH, gas canister with canister extension ring and equipped with a hitchhiker motorized door assembly humda. Instrumentation includes an ultraviolet UV spectrograph with a CCD array detector, CCD array and visible light cameras, calibration lamp, optics and baffling. Once on orbit a crew member will active SOLSE which will perform limb and earth viewing observations. Limb observations focuses on the region 20 kilometers, 12 miles to 50 kilometers, 31 miles altitude above the horizon for the Earth's surface. Earth viewing observations will enable SOLSE to correlate the data with other nadir viewing ozone instruments. Topic: <laughs> Loop heat pipe The loop heat pipe LHP test will advance thermal energy management technology and validating technology readiness for upcoming commercial spacecraft applications. 
The LHP will be operated with anhydrous ammonia as the working fluid to transport thermal energy with high effective conductivity in zero gravity. LHP is a passive, two-phase flow heat transfer device that is capable of transporting up to 400 watts over a distance of 5 meters through semi-flexible, small diameter tubes. It uses capillary forces to circulate the two-phase working fluid. The system is self-priming and totally passive in operation. When heat is applied to the LHP evaporator, part of the working fluid vaporizes. The vapor flows through the vapor transport lines and condenses, releasing heat. The condense returns to the evaporator via capillary action through the liquid transport lines. Topic. Sodium sulfur battery experiment The sodium sulfur battery experiment NASBY, characterized the performance of 440 ampere hour sodium sulfur battery cells, representing the first test of sodium sulfur battery technology in space. Each cell is composed of a sodium anode, sulfur cathode, and solid ceramic sodium ion conducting electrolyte and separator. The cells must be heated to 350 degrees Celsius to liquefy the sodium and sulfur. Once the anode and cathode were liquefied, the cells started to generate electrical power. Once in orbit, a crew member activated NASB and then the experiment was controlled by the GSFC Payload Operations Control Center POCC. Topic. Turbulent gas jet diffusion flames The turbulent gas jet diffusion flames TGDF payload is a secondary payload that used the standard getaway special carrier. Its purpose is to gain an understanding of the fundamental characteristics of transitional and turbulent gas jet diffusion flames under microgravity conditions and to acquire data that will aid in predicting the behavior of transitional and turbulent gas jet diffusion flames under normal and microgravity environments. TGDF will impose large-scale controlled disturbances on well-defined laminar microgravity diffusion flames. The will be on axisomertic perturbations to laminar flames. The variables for the proposed tests will be the frequency of the disturbance mechanism which will be either 2.5 Hz, 5 Hz, or 7.5 Hz. <laughs> Getaway Special Getaway Special gas GO36 payload canister contained four separate experiments that hydrate cement samples, record configuration stability of fluid samples, and expose computer disks, compact disks, and asphalt samples to exosphere conditions in the cargo bay of the orbiter. The experiments are the Cement Mixing Experiment CME, the Configuration Stability of Fluid Experiment CSFE, the Computer Compact Disk Evaluation Experiment CDE, and the Asphalt Evaluation Experiment AEE. Topic. Extended Duration Orbiter The Extended Duration Orbiter Edo pallet is a 15-foot diameter cryo kit wafer structure. Weighing 352 kilograms 776 pounds, it provides support for tanks, associated control panels, and avionics equipment. The tanks store 167 kilograms, 368 pounds of liquid hydrogen at -250 degrees Celsius and 1417 kilograms, 3124 pounds of liquid oxygen at -176 degrees Celsius. Total empty mass of the system is 1620 kilograms, 3570 pounds. 
When filled with cryogens, system mass is approximately 3,200 kg 7, Oxygen and hydrogen are supplied to the orbiter's three electrical power generating fuel cells, where they are converted into sufficient electrical energy to support the average four-family member house for approximately six months. About 1,360 kilograms 3, pounds of pure drinking water is also produced by the fuel cells. With the Edo pallet, the orbiter can support a flight for a maximum of 18 days. Longer on-orbit missions benefit microgravity research, life sciences research, Earth and celestial observations, human adaptation to the zero-g environment, and support to the space station. Topic. Midic glove box The Midic Glove Box MGBX, is a facility designed for material science and biological science experiment handling. It consists of two primary systems, an interface frame if, and a glove box GB. The MGBX facility with associated electronics provides an enclosed working area for experiment manipulation and observation on the shuttle mid-deck. The MGBX experiments on this flight are, WCI, the objective of the wetting characteristics of emissibles was to investigate the influence of alloy, ampule wetting characteristics on the segregation of emissible liquids during microgravity processing. The enclosed laminar flames ELF experiment objective was to validate the zero-gravity Burke-Schumann model and the gravity-dependent Hegt-Bahadori extension of the model, investigate the importance of the buoyancy-dependent flow field as affected by oxidizer flow on flame stabilization, examine the state relationships of co-flow diffusion flames under the influence of buoyancy conditions gravity versus pressure, and study the flow vortex and diffusion flame interactions. The particle engulfment and pushing by solidifying interfaces PEP experiment objectives were to generate an accurate value for the critical velocity in a convection-free environment, validate present theoretical model, enhance fundamental understanding of dynamics of insoluble particles at liquid-solid interfaces, and improve understanding of physics associated with solidification of liquid metals ceramic particles mixtures. Topic. Collaborative Ukraine Experiment The Collaborative Ukraine Experiment Q, was a mid-deck payload designed to study the effects of microgravity on plant growth. The Q is composed of a group of experiments that will be flown in the Plant Growth Facility PGF, and in the Biological Research in Canisters brick. The experiments also required the use of a gaseous nitrogen GN2 freezer and the fixation hardware. Investigators in Ukraine and the United States selected the experiments as a model for scientific collaboration between the two countries. The PGF supported plant growth for up to 30 days by providing acceptable environmental conditions for normal plant growth. The PGF is composed of the following subsystems, Control and Data Management Subsystems CDMS, Fluorescent Light Module FLM, Atmospheric Control Module ACM, Plant Growth Chambers PGCs, Support Structure Assembly SSA, and the Generic External Shell GES. The complete PGF replaced one mid-deck locker and operated on 28 volts direct current DC power. The plant specimen studied in the PGF was Brassica RAPA turnip. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Extravehicular activities. The Extravehicular Activity Development Flight Test 05 EDFT05, consists of the payload bay hardware elements of Detailed Test Objective DTO 671, EVA hardware for future scheduled extravehicular missions. 
EDFTO-5's main objective is to demonstrate International Space Station ISS on orbit, end-to-end -end EVA assembly and maintenance operations. The other DTOs included in this test are DTO-672, Extravehicular Mobility Unit EMU, Electrical Cuff Checklist and DTO-833, EMU Thermal Comfort and EVA Worksite Thermal Environment. Another objective is to expand the EVA experience base for ground and flight crews. Two EVAs will be performed on this mission to accomplish these DTOs. Topic. Autonomous EVA robotic camera The Autonomous EVA Robotic Camera Sprint, Air Cam, Sprint is a small, unobtrusive, free-flying camera platform for use outside a spacecraft. The free flyer has a self-contained cold gas propulsion system giving it the capability to be propelled with a 6 degrees of freedom control system. On board the free flyer are rate sensors to provide data for an automatic attitude hold capability. Aircam, Sprint is a spherical vehicle that moves slowly and is covered in a soft cushioning material to prevent damage in the event of an impact. The design philosophy is to keep the energy low by keeping the velocities and mass low while providing a mechanism to absorb any energy from an impact. The free flyer platform is controlled from inside the orbiter by using a small control station. The operator inputs motion commands from a single, aid for EVA rescue, safer, device controller. The commands are sent from the control station to the free flyer via a radio frequency RF modem link operating in the ultra-high frequency UHF range. Topic. See also List of human spaceflights List of space shuttle missions Outline of space science